Dédicacé à tous ceux qui viennent des petits patelins. Ces petits patelins paumés. Pour qui personne n'a jamais rappé. Même pas un flot. Ces petits patelins paumés que même la France, elle sait pas qui sont là chez elle. Les petits patelins paumés que personne ne connaît, même pas Jean-Pierre Perdon. Je m'appelle Camini. Je viens pas de la Tessie. Je viens d'un petit village qui s'appelle le Marly Beaumont. Alors qu'on monte sur le beat 1, le beat 1 qui fait... Da, 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 da. À Marly Gaumont, il n'y a pas de béton. 65 ans, la moyenne d'âge dans les environs. Un terrain de tennis, un terrain de basket. Trois jeunes dans le village, donc pour jouer, c'est pas chouette. Viens d'un village paumé dans l'aile, en Picardie, facilement. 95% de vaches, 5% d'habitants et parmi eux. <rire> oh Welcome to the Church of Corone. And uh, thank you all for joining me for just a quick respite in your Sunday. Uh, so I wanted to just uh, alert you all to this wonderful Netflix film called The African Doctor. And I had the pleasure of watching it the other day. And you know, you never know with these Netflix films how they're going to be. But this one was so touching. It's based on a true story about uh, an African doctor from the Congo who went to France to get his medical degree. And he was married with two young children. And after he graduated, he was offered the prestigious position of being the uh, physician's personal doctor of the president of Zaire, uh, Mobutu. And he decided to pass on it unbeknownst to his wife. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> And that, that was dealt with later in the film. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, you men. <laughs> okay. Both male and female can lie, but um, I'm it's just, it'd be interesting actually to do a Sunday discussion on how men lie versus how women lie, perhaps. And that would be kind of fascinating to think about. So anyway, he does not take the position of the a uh, personal physician to the president of Zaire because of the corruption. Ah, he's got character. This is good. Uh, but what he does take and accept is a small rural northern uh, farming countryside position. Okay, now we're talking about all white people. <laughs> and he and his wife are the only black people coming. Now, of course, if they were in Paris, this wouldn't be an issue, but we're talking in the 70s here, and uh, he's dragging his family out to the French countryside where, you know, some of these people have never left this particular tiny town. And so, uh, you know, culturally, they are, uh, you know, mm, not as cultural as the Parisians at that time would be. So. So he takes his family out there, and uh, so he passed on the corruption of the Zaire, uh, the presidency of Mambutu. But what, he, unbeknownst to him, <laughs> was the corruption of the small rural white farming French town. Hmm. Wow. <laughs> so you're you can only imagine what he's going to encounter his wife and his children. And uh, so this is a, a, a true story. And so it was written by Kamini, who the person I just played, uh, that is his son. And his son actually went into the medical field, uh, became a nurse, and then started doing rural rap based on his personal experience of uh, being a black person in a white farming community and it was very comedic and so the French loved it and he no longer needs to be a nurse because he's now famous and uh, doing quite well for himself. Ah! <laughs> Remember, it is not money that is evil, it's the love of money that is evil. And it's also what you do with your money. So, you know, uh, that's always uh, interesting. Follow the money to find out what people's real heart and uh, where they're at. Uh, it's always fascinating to see what people do with their money. So anyway, uh, but uh, so Kamini, his son, wrote this, co-wrote it actually, 
with uh, two other people, uh, the French director who directed this film, Rambaldi, and then uh, another French screenwriter uh, whose name is Benoit Graffin. Sorry, didn't remember that. <laughs> so they uh, wrote this together, and uh, it is, I think, just you must see it because it's a heart wrenching and heart uplifting film uh, based on what this family has to go through and endure and the character of this African doctor uh, you know we really should have more people watch this and uh, you know this should be shown in the schools uh, for the young people coming up uh, showing them what a real strong character is, what it's about, because his pursuit was not necessarily uh, money, obviously, uh, but it was to change the world and to change it for love. Mm, that's always a good one. <laughs> you could never go wrong with that one. Uh, you know, life is about polar opposites, right? We wouldn't know love unless we had hate here on earth. Uh, you know, people, uh, they're very upset because of God, uh, a lot of people don't believe in God because they don't, you know, they see a lot of the evil. So where is God in all of this? And it's, you know, a, a question. Why do bad things happen to good people? And uh, it's, it's the reality of living on planet earth where you do have the polar opposites. You have good and evil, love and hate. Uh, you have creation and destruction. Uh, so there, there is here on this planet uh, the allowance of the negative, of the evil, of the hate. And we as independent thinkers can plug in to God, which I believe comes from, uh, which is love, uh, or we can plug in to hate, which is the opposite of God. And so, you know, we have people who choose, choose to uh, navigate uh, in a positive way or a negative way, in a constructive way or a deconstructive way. And unfortunately, often in life, we get caught in those crosshairs. So, you know, some people have this idea of when bad things happen to them, oh, that's God's plan. And I don't have that same belief. Uh, my thinking is when bad things happen to you, that is because we're on this planet where evil, hatred, uh, deconstruction, will occur. And unfortunately, you can be on the uh, receiving end. Now, we can also choose to be on the giving end of love and acceptance and courage and uh, fortitude. And I think this African doctor is such an amazing light uh, his character, what he represents, uh, his long suffering, his endurance, his ability to, despite everything going against him, uh, his belief in the fact that he feels this calling to this town, which is remarkable in and of itself. <laughs> uh, but, uh, and then his family and what they have to go through and their struggles. And of course, you know, you can be in a family, as we all know, and you all have totally different experiences, though you're living the same life together, but you're getting a totally different experience. And this is a poignant film in that respect, that what the husband is going through, the father is going through, the doctor is going through, is vastly different from what the mother, the wife uh, is going through, and then the children. Uh, the oldest is his daughter, Sivi, uh, who loves soccer. 
and the trials and tribulations she experiences from that and then this ultimate uh, beautiful uh, experience that she gets to have in this film is uh, very touching um, and then Kamini who is uh, now the rapper today uh, his experiences as the youngest child and so it is a film that I would encourage you to watch uh, it's life affirming it uh, shows you that we, we have all of this today about the outward appearance and and that's true that is another thing that is on this planet you know we've been created uh, in various shades of pigment color and uh, this can really affect people uh, just the physical okay you don't even say anything you just walk into a room when I walk into a room I'm seen as a white woman with blonde hair and blue eyes all right and then judgments flow from that uh, but everyone no matter who they are when they just come into a room whether they're male or female or or transgender or whatever they are you know it is something that people make judgments right away about and uh, the reality is and what this film shows so beautifully is that yes we have these outer shells these costumes is what I call them because these are ever-changing you know we were babies then we were toddlers then we were teenagers then young adults then uh, adults and then going into the uh, elderly uh, and then passing so we have these stages that we all go through uh, but the thing that is equal with everyone is that we all have a spirit and the spirit is what is unseen but animates us and so that is why we can have peace ultimately if and love if we all see each other as spirit ah! <laughs> because that's really what it's about life is about mostly the unseen not necessarily the seen but we get very fixated here on earth about the seen and uh, this film is so beautiful in the sense that when you watch it and you see this unseen courageous spirit of this African doctor and how his belief in what he's doing and the gifts that he's been given to help and heal people uh, it's just a phenomenal film and uh, my hatless I guess we'll say blue I got these in Idlewild and I just love these glasses hmm <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> anyway glasses off to uh, oh, the uh, African doctor film you can watch this on Netflix please check it out and have a fabulous Sunday and I look forward to seeing you all again and may the spirit be what you nurture because that's really the power in all of us and that is really the beauty in all of us is our spirit when we tap into and we plug into love and peace and joy and when we bring that wherever we go no matter what we look like on the outside it's our spirit that meets and greets and bows to the other Blessings on your Sunday.